men are tired of women and don't want to deal with them anymore. This is something that we're seeing happening around us more and more. Women in the Philippines know this concept quite well, that men are fed up with women in Western society. Women who see the passport kings, the passport bros traveling the world. They understand this. But to what extent? A lot of men today can never, ever be in a relationship with a woman ever again because of what they've experienced in Western society. There are a lot of men because of the relationships with even their mothers. They can never be in a relationship ever again after how their mothers have treated them or after what they saw their mothers do to their fathers. They can never be in a relationship with a woman ever again or a healthy one. And women don't, they don't, they're so, the, the only thing they will ever do is gaslight you. And then there are those women who will like act like, oh, well, I understand. Like these trad con women, guys, people don't notice there's something really wrong with these trad con women. You know, like, for example, they'll pop on these podcasts and some of them are dressed like garden tools themselves, or they're all wearing turtlenecks, like everything, like they're completely covered from head to toe and like in the summertime. And I'm like, what the hell is this? But of course, they're all married to wealthy men. And I've, I've said this once and I'll say it again. Trad con women are just, another, are just another form of sugar baby. You know, they're glorified sugar babies. That, that's, that's what they are. Because they w- want wealthy, wealthy men and they're basically willing to play the part. You know, oh, I'm so special. I'm, so, I'm this, I'm that. You know, they're, play- they're just playing a role. They're playing a role, you know, just like, you know, they, it's from one extreme to another extreme. On one hand, you have the the, the uh, garden tools who, you know, dress like evening delights, as by whom he would like to call them. And then you have the, uh, the, the trad con women who you wouldn't want to walk around with one of these women in public. You know, it's like 94 degrees outside. Instead of wearing a summer dress, she's wearing a turtleneck. And 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 or or something like so heavy that it would look it would be it would look more and more in place in the Middle East. In fact, although like I've seen some of these trad con women wear some outfits where I'm like, okay, bro, I would feel more comfortable walking around with a woman like who who's wearing like those full full coverings from the Middle East than walking around with this person who looks like a clown. Like, bro, you look like a straight up clown in that outfit. I don't even know what you're wearing. Like it's a whole other, it's just another form of virtue signaling. And it just shows like it's not genuine. You see, most men just want a woman who's normal, just normal. If you go back to the 60s and the 70s, women used to wear mini skirts back then, but they were able to do this somehow without looking like the modern day 304. Because modern women are just so attention-seeking. And the kinds of men that they're actually looking for, it's not you. They're looking for the basketball players. You know, they're trying to dress like Megan the Stallion. And these idiots, some of these idiots in the manosphere, they're out here like, oh, well, you need to find yourself a Christian woman. Woman, a lot of men went and got those girls. Oh, she was a virgin when I met her. At least she said she claimed she was. And, you know, and she, she destroyed their lives. You're not going to fight this, this, you know, and oh, well, I guess you chose wrong. Like these men are so foolish. The, the men, women say it and men say it as well. These men are so foolish. And then when it finally happens to them, you know, they want, they want everyone to cry for them. And I'm not crying for you. I just block you from my channel. I block you straight up from my channel. Like, you know, I had one guy message me recently, sent me an email recently. Like, hey, did you block me from your channel? I was like, I'm not sure. I don't think I did, but. You know, I'm not going to search through over 500 people to find your name. That's about 500 now, maybe a little over 500 that I've blocked this year alone. I'm just blocking people left and right. I don't have time for this. You know, if you stress me out and you bring your SIP garbage, I'm just going to get rid of you as quickly as possible. You can hear the exhaustion in my voice. Like, guys, I just slept over eight hours. I just got over eight hours of sleep, and I, and I, and I don't care, and I'm still tired. Mentally, psychologically, you know, people, you know, 
I, 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 I'm not tired of making content. I'm tired of dealing with simps. Tired of dealing with simps. You know, I added a, a new... I added a new, a new a guideline to my channel, to my videos, where it basically says, you know, because we have channel guidelines. Well, the first one is, you know, don't just dis don't disrespect Gen X or get banned. That's been there for a while. And a new one is basically don't blame Gen X or anyone else for Gen Z. Because this is a, it's, it's a level of stupidity. Everyone's trying to blame everyone else for things that are happening. Yeah, so what? The boomers are total bastards, total scumbags. Guess what? That's not going to fix our problems. At this pr at this age, we have to take accountability for everything in our lives. Regardless of who created these problems, we have to solve them for ourselves. I said this recently, and people hate me for saying this. Jesus isn't coming back soon. Jesus is not. The Bible doesn't say. I don't know anywhere in the Bible where it actually says he's coming back soon. The Christians have been saying for over 2,000 years, right, that Jesus is coming back. 2,000 years. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. I'm beyond tired of the nonsense with these people. All right. We could be at the end of the universe, and if humanity was still around, they'd still they'd still be saying that he's coming back in any moment. This is like this whole Tupac thing. Like, you know, Tupac's not really Tupac's still alive. Tupac is still alive. Jesus is alive. I do believe Jesus is alive, but I don't believe he's coming back anytime soon. We don't determine that. Okay, he's not going to come back magically to, to 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 stop our wars and to and to deal with our mortgage payments and to to say this to save us from feminism. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, he's not coming back to rescue us from obesity. Okay, and 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 and, and degeneracy. Right, like you know, like we're gonna have to sort this out for ourselves. We're gonna have to. It's a it's a scary thing for a lot of people to hear. And they'll deny it and they'll complain, but and they'll try to go after me. No, bro, we have to solve these problems for ourselves. Been around blaming the boomers for everything. It doesn't get us anywhere. Even if they are responsible for every for practically every problem in the world, and they're continuously pushing us towards conflicts and a miserable guys, it's not gonna fix anything. They're our problems. We have to fix them. Even though we didn't create these problems, we still have to fix them. You know, Gen Z is such a disgusting generation. They sit around like subway rats. They are subway rats, just just creating problems and havoc. I said this, you know, new problems. They're disgusting. You know, I I made a poll about this that you know if Gen Z goes to prison, you know they're just gonna they're gonna they'll enjoy prison because they're just going they're gonna eat, sleep, do drugs, get drug, play games. They're, they're gonna enjoy they're really gonna and then taxpayers are gonna foot the bill they're gonna they're really gonna enjoy themselves all right someone else added on you know that they're gonna work out and yeah they, they absolutely are go to the gym they're gonna enjoy they're gonna they will they're really gonna enjoy themselves in prison and I know people who've gone to prison and they told me that they enjoyed themselves in prison they told me that they enjoyed themselves in prison because they have to because gen z is gen z is, is, is like this these are this is a perfect example of a very ex group of irresponsible people. They don't get what they want, so they're going to tear down society. Like, look look, look at the situation. Everyone's struggling right now, and everyone and people have to foot the bill. Someone has to foot the bill, and Gen Z is basically just reallocating it to someone else. Either their parents are going to have to pay for it, or so our social service, or our, our, our social safety debts, or what are, you know, or they're basically going to cheat, you know, cheat their... Uh, cheat their employers, for example, and when they're cheating their employers, they're not cheating their employers, they're cheating the people who work with the, who work who work with them because those jobs have to get done one way or another. If Gen Z is a is on a salary and inside they're, they're not coming into work, someone is gonna have to do the work that that, that good for nothing Gen Z -er would have to do in the first place. You know? Someone's going to have to do that work. Someone's going to have to get it done. And Gen Z still gets paid. Guys, modern, men, are, men are tired of the relationships with women in Western society. They're tired of the nonsense. They're tired of the games. They're tired of disrespect. They're tired of all of it. They're really, really tired of all of it. They don't want to deal with it anymore. They don't want the stress anymore. They, it's, it's, it's exhausting. Women have brought men to the point where they're tired. 
If you want to go fight over these people, let them go. Go fight over them. A lot of men are walk have walked away. They're not going to go overseas and go looking for go look for a woman overseas. Like by the like by the time this is all said and done, a lot of men will no longer have the capacity to be in a relationship with a woman. A lot of men are losing the capacity for physical intimacy. People say, "Angry, you're crazy. Angry, you're you're talking nonsense." I love women, and 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 you know, and I want women all day long. And it's like, bro, you 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 really don't know what you're saying right now, okay? Because there's a lot of men, and regardless if you like women or not, a lot of men can't do it anymore. Like a lot of men lose the desire for physical intimacy. A lot of men stop having physical intimacy entirely. They start, they don't even you know. They don't even be, they don't even beat off. Like they just stop. They find they find something else to focus on. It could be video games. It could be driving, driving a nice a nice luxury car or older luxury car, you know. It could be just staying home and grilling and just chilling. But they 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 basically just get tired. You know, women demonstrate so such lower value so often. For men, and they do such horrible things to men that a lot of men just a lot of men they begin to lose desire and attraction for women. And this notion that men will always want women, women are delusional about that. They're absolutely delusional. Women overseas in these other countries like the Philippines, they don't seem to understand. You keep on being, you know, you if you start to act up in these countries, because a lot of these women are starting to become, you know, act like American women, like, you know, in the sense that they believe they deserve more because of the Sims. If they start to do this and it gets bad enough, a lot of the men, men that would potentially be headed there, they're not going to go there anymore. And, you know, the passport kick, and here's the thing about the Sims. The simps are only riding on the coattails of the passport kings. And don't forget that. The simps are looking what the passport kings are doing. And you're like, okay, so we're following the leader. Because the passport kings are the leaders. And the simps, they're basically riding on their coattails. So they're like, oh, the passport kings are going overseas and getting all of this for themselves. So the passport kings, they were they went there first. They, you know, they scoped it out. You know, they're going to Colombia, they're going to these other countries. They're they're pioneers, they're doing all of the hard work. And then after they've done all of the hard work and made sure that things were safe and the coast is clear, the simps are trying to go over there and take advantage of what the kings have established. But here's the thing: even when it comes to the simps, because the simps are all over the manosphere. I have them all over the channel. Why are there so many simps in the manosphere? Simple, because they have nowhere else to go. The manosphere. Is filled with sims because men have nowhere else to go. Even the sims. The sims have nowhere else to go. No matter what has what you want to say, the sims are a lot. The sims are still being treated poorly in society, even though they're sims. So they come to the manosphere and they listen to the things that are happening and they don't change as men, but it does validate their experiences. So they're listening to what's happening with the kings. They're like, okay, fine, I'm going to go here and I'm going to do this. But these, these Filipinas don't understand. Filipinas or all our women in other countries, you know, when they bring these bad attitudes and they start to misbehave, it's, it's not like it used to be where it took 20 years for men to get this knowledge, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years for men to get this knowledge. It's instantaneous. It's instantaneous. It just takes a few passport bro channel. It just takes a few passport bro channels, just a few, for it to spread for for something to spread like wildfire. Many of you don't know that you don't know this, but we're all making the same content most of the time. We're all making the same content and writing and, and writing the YouTube algorithm together. So if one dude makes a con makes this video, this another dude is going to make the exact same video. Okay, you sometimes using the exact same title. So if these women are over there in the Philippines, for example, and they start acting up and thinking they're going to act like foreign women and say, oh, I deserve more. Like, bro, you were raised, you were living in a barn when I met you. And now you think that you deserve to be, you know, you deserve a, a Jaguar and all of these other stuff. Like you're an American woman and you want to go and disrespect the men over in the Philippines. It's not going to work like that. 
these women are not, they're not think, they're not thinking right. That's why I tell you, a woman is a woman. If the women in the Philippines think they're gonna misbehave, the Filipino men, they speak English too. These men speak English too. They'll pop up right in the manosphere and put them on blast and tell you that these women are disrespecting them over there and they're misbehaving over there. And then there's all, of course, the simps that are like, oh, that's because, you know, these men don't know how to treat these women. And, and uh, you know, what they don't understand is like if these women start becoming disrespectful to their, to the men of their country, they'll start becoming disrespectful to you. And, they're, and, and, and their expectations are only going to skyrocket. And within a short period of time, you have the foreigners that are living in these countries that are passport kings that are going through this stuff, and they'll start popping up videos and telling you, no, this is absolutely what's going on here. The women are misbehaving in this are misbehaving in the Philippines. And and men are very after what's happening in Western society, men are very, very, are very, very um, I don't want to use the word jaded, but jittery. So if people hear like, oh, the Philippines has fallen. It doesn't, it won't take long. It will not take long for men to just stop going to say, all right, well, the Philippines is done. Where else can we go? I hear some good things are happening over in Kenya. Oh, are they misbehaving in Kenya? Because these men, because they speak English over in Kenya too. Oh, they're misbehaving in Kenya. A man will pop up from Kenya. A man will pop up from Kenya. Men will pop up from Kenya. So you're like, uh -uh, these women over here misbehaving. All right, some brothers from Kenya will pop up and tell you what's going on over there. And tell you that these African women are misbehaving, okay? You know they were over here riding zebra, riding zebras, and 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 falling, and 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 elephants were like telling, they were saying, "How's it going? How's it going, baby girl?" And and then you know suddenly these foreigners came over and took her out of the, uh, you know, took took her out of the heat and gave her and upgraded her life, and now she thinks that she's better than the Kenyan men over there, and and uh, and 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 then she thinks that she's going to misbehave. And get away with it. And no, the Kenyan men will put her on blast. The Kenyan men will put her on blast. They'll come right, they'll jump right into the manosphere. I don't know. Listen to they we have star they have Starlink now. They have Starlink now. So it doesn't matter if they're in what, what, what bush they're in. It doesn't matter what bush these people are in. They will find a way to get on get on the internet and go right to the manosphere and start putting and start checking in. Like Kenya checking in. These women over here are misbehaving. All right. These women over here acting like the American women that you're running away from, and they start lay, they start bring, they'll start putting receipts up, they'll start sending putting up articles, they'll start putting up receipts, they'll bring receipts, and within no time at all, no time at all, these men are like, okay, well, Kenya has fallen, we're not going there. Like women don't under like this is why I say like a woman is a woman, no matter where you go. A woman is a woman, no matter where you go. And men have to wake up and realize that. But women don't, they don't comprehend that this is a whole different world. It's a whole different ball game. Men are fleeing, men are fleeing, men are fleeing these countries. Or if they don't leave, they're not, they're, they're just basically living simple lives of comfort. This is what's happening right now. Because they cannot deal with these women anymore. You know, they're walking away from society and they're saying, you know, you know, we have this whole thing about men entering their soft guy era. And while it's a bit of trolling, it's true, though. Because these men are basically saving all of their money. They're not getting married. They're not having children and they're buying Bitcoin. And they don't care if they don't care if their investments go down to zero. They're buying Bitcoin. They're buying stocks. They're gambling. Because they have all of this disposable income, so that's that income that that disposable income that they would be using to to waste on women buying them meals that will never get them anywhere. Or all of this other garbage, they're not putting that money into the simp economy. They're taking all of that money out of the simp economy, and they're using that money to just in, to invest. And they have everything they need. Once you have your PlayStation, once a lot of dudes they have PlayStation Five and all their video games or whatever the hell they want. They pick up a sixty-five inch. You know, some of you dudes are rock rolling around with like 90 inch televisions, you know, some of y'all. And then there's a lot of dudes who don't even want any of that. They're happy with a Nintendo Switch and a laptop. They sleep it on like, like, no, some of y'all are some evil dudes sleeping on the floor right now. You have a, you have a backpack, a laptop and backpack, a laptop, Nintendo Switch. Many of you don't even have that. A lot of y'all Outback dudes right now chilling in the woods with a cell phone, a cell phone. All right, be very careful with these. Tell y'all, be very careful with these wood dudes. 
all right? The woods are the scary, scary, like scary dudes, all right? Dudes out there in the woods just chilling. Some dudes just there chilling in the woods, right? <laughs> just chilling in the woods right now, listening to an angry guy video, all right? We take something, bears, moose, all these things. They're not messing with these men. They're not messing with these men. I tell y'all, women are some. A lot of women don't know what the hell is. If it wasn't for the simp society that we live in today, they, things would be very, very different. Uh, guys, you know, you see this woman running scared in, in GTA. I'm telling y'all, if it wasn't for the simp society, simp economy, women wouldn't be doing these things. They couldn't be doing these things. You have these men sleeping, living in the woods comfortably. All right, you have you got you have bears in there, some real predators in there. And they're just chilling in the woods, you know, because they can't. They're done. They can't. They don't want to deal with society. They don't want to deal with women, and women are there messing around with these men. If it wasn't for the simp economy, if it wasn't for the simp society, it would be very, very different. We'd be in a very different world, guys. Don't forget, I have another channel called Angry, where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. You can find a link to it in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. I also have another channel called Men Walking Away, where I discuss content just like the content on this channel. If you're enjoying the content on the Angry Guy channel and you want even more of these videos, head over to the Men Walking Away channel and subscribe to that channel. There's a link to it in the description of the video. And go over there, you know, subscribe, enjoy the content, support my work. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Men are tired of women and, and don't want to deal with them anymore. I want to hear your thoughts on this. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.